Well, the director of the Centers for Disease Control, Tom Frieden, said this was an unprecedented outbreak of Ebola for five reasons. First, it's the largest outbreak ever. It's spread across three different countries. It's occurring in West Africa, which has never had an Ebola outbreak before. It's spreading in urban areas and not just rural areas. And fifthly, because the U.S. for the first time is dealing with Ebola. Having said that, though, the experts on the panel that gave testimony stressed this was not some new mutation of Ebola. It's the same virus that has been successfully beaten back in the past. And they seem confident if the same measures are put in place, as has been done in the past, this outbreak can be controlled. One congressman, however, was very unimpressed with the international response to Ebola. He said that the U.S. and Europe had left three of the poorest countries in the world to fend for themselves. I spent much of last Monday uh, on the 20th of July on the phone with the White House, State Department, CDC, HHS, trying to understand just what, if anything, the U.S. was doing both to help contain the outbreak in Africa and prevent the spread of Ebola to the U.S. I was concerned that no one could tell me who was in charge within the administration on this issue. No one could explain what actions would be taken to ensure the U.S. was prepared to respond. Although more progress has been made over the last week since these conversations, it's clear that the government is still trying to catch up. Well, she had the races now on to try and find a cure uh, to Ebola. We've heard about those two uh, U.S. aid workers who've been given that unapproved uh, uh, drug. Uh, how big a priority up till now has uh, uh, research on Ebola been for the U.S.? Yes, it's interesting because now we're hearing about experimental serums like the one that was administered to the Americans who caught uh, Ebola, about the research that's been underway from various biotech companies around North America. This has been underway for some years. Tens of millions of dollars have been spent, but that money is coming from the Department of Defense, the Pentagon. This is how Ebola is being viewed and has been, used up, been viewed up to now as a national security issue. What if a problem that's largely focused on Africa becomes an American problem by being weaponized, by being turned into a weapon of mass destruction and then used against U.S. military personnel or U.S. citizens at large? So that's been the focus of the research here, and that's why the Department of Defense is spending all the money in researching some sort of cure or vaccine into Ebola. As far as pharmaceutical companies are concerned, they are simply not interested because there is no money to be made in spending lots of money in research and development for, on a disease or on a vaccine uh, that will simply be used curing Africans or, or, uh, or protecting Africans from a disease that's based in Africa. Okay, Shihab, thank you. Shihab, retired.